Okay, we could get started. Good morning, cloud native telco community, and welcome to the third uh, cloud native telco day here in Amsterdam. My name is Vuk Gojnic, uh, and I'm a Kubernetes platform lead in uh, Deutsche Telekom Technik, uh, and I'm going to be your uh, host today together with my uh, fellow program committee member, Lucina Stričko. Um, let me remind you uh, to the uh, Kubernetes and then CNCF code of conduct, uh, which is all common sense, uh, boils down to be excellent to each other, treat others like you would like to be treated, and uh, give you a couple of uh, useful information. If you have uh, any of uh, questions or, or needs for support, there is a CNCF Slack channel uh, with uh, uh, CNCF event stuff uh, being in there. Uh, feel free to ask. Uh, for the speakers, uh, please uh, be ready to hop on the stage as soon as the previous speaker uh, finishes and uh, uh, that way uh, contribute to the timing. And uh, uh, if you look for a program, presentations, or later on recordings, you can find them all online. Um, before proceeding with the agenda, I would like to bother you with some fundamental questions. Who are we and why are we here? Before uh, I try and attempt uh, to answer these questions, which are not trivial, uh, I would like to share a couple of observations with you. Uh, observation number one about hard things. If Kubernetes is hard, then Kubernetes in telco is a lot harder. And CNFs on Kubernetes in telco is even harder than that. It has to do something with the networking, and it's not hard to these days to, to get it functioning, but it's hard, hard to run it. And this is what I can confirm also from the experience, and I guess uh, many of you. Collisions, Kubernetes and CNFs are bringing the collisions to the telco world, collisions of the cultures. We have a ITIL versus DevOps and SRE. You won't believe me probably, but I was uh, having a serious discussions with my senior telco colleagues about uh, whether the rescheduling of the pod from a node to node should be treated as a change in the ITIL sense and should be approved by the uh, uh, change advisory board. I hope I'm through this discussion, but you never know. Uh, telco velocity versus cloud velocity. Uh, coincidentally yesterday, and it's happening all the time, I had a, uh, another lengthy and, and serious discussion and sad discussion uh, with uh, relation to another application, a very critical application. I will not name it because it would be easy to pinpoint uh, the, the actors there. But the, the story is like uh, they will be ready end of the year to upgrade, uh, to make their application ready to support Kubernetes 1.25 because there are some depreciations and some changes in the Kubernetes API, one of those being uh, uh, removal of the pod security policies. End of this year would be a three years after this pod security policy depreciation is announced. Uh, so we have a mismatch uh, also in the, in the uh, velocity. Uh, third point, pre-integration versus uh, a continuous certification. In our industry, we are doing a lot of, uh, historically, a lot of pre-integration for a good, but uh, in the cloud native infrastructure and cloud native world, uh, any pre-integration does not have much validity, much value. Uh, the continuous testing, continuous certification is what uh, uh, still need to be there. Another observation about distance, we are probably the industry, as a telco industry, uh, with the largest distance between devs and platform engineers uh, in a normal average cloud company, you would have the same company, you would have a devs and, and platform engineers working together. In our case, the distance is 10 times higher to the point that uh, platform engineers almost never meet uh, the developers. And in some cases where it's possible, it's structurally not allowed and, and not, uh, not wanted. So these are all uh, quite substantial challenges that uh, we uh, are facing and that nobody uh, quite figure out yet uh, uh, how to solve them. And this is why we are here. Why we are here is to work together, to get inspired, to give impulses uh, to each other, and to work and find the community-based solutions for all those uh, challenges. 
and who we are. I dare to say that uh, we are the, the pioneers of uh, cloud native telco transformation. Why pioneers? I mean, it's a handful of us uh, here. It's a small group. If you go to MWC or other major industry events, you would have a thousand times more uh, people. But this is not the, where the transformation is happening. This is where the transformation and the trends are getting amplified. But here, in this room and the broader community, uh, we are the, the drivers of cloud native telco transformation. How to engage with the community? Here are the uh, few uh, possibilities. CNF working group through the projects uh, like a test suite uh, or the certification. Um, and uh, you can find some useful contacts there. A word uh, uh, about our sponsors, or better to say, future sponsors, um, because we uh, still didn't have, uh, uh, didn't get one, uh, and we need to get better uh, probably uh, in, in future and engage more uh, to get uh, to get this event uh, uh, valuable, seen as valuable in the eyes of sponsors. Uh, but word to the to the future sponsors, uh, this is uh, a chance for your company, great chance for your company to support. Cloud Native Telco Day as a platform for uh, cloud native telco transformation pioneers to work together on the challenges that your company is facing. Uh, the upside from us uh, having the half a day, so we'll be running today until 12:30 uh, 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 roundabout. We got, according to the new format, a half a day event. Uh, the upside of these two upsides: one is we we got the time for a community gathering uh, sponsored by the Volk. Uh, 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 cope uh, later on. Very much thankful for that. And uh, we got a much focused agenda, starting uh, with uh, uh, three lightning talks uh, about some innovation uh, topics, followed by the four presentations from the uh, operator uh, community, talking about experience, challenges, and solutions uh, in the in the practice, and finishing with a panel about uh, uh, one uh, very promising uh, initiative, community initiative, Silva project, uh, which we are hopefully going to uh, uh, get engaged more in in future. With that, I would like to uh, invite our uh, first uh, first uh, lightning talk speaker, uh, colleagues from NTT, if they are uh, here around. Uh, Please welcome on the stage. <laughs> 